everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a pour on a coffee mug. Um, it's just a coffee mug I found. It was an old coffee mug of my husband's. It did have some writing on it, so I just took a piece of sandpaper and lightly sanded and it all came off. I'm going to be using colors that I had just done a painting with Harley, Harley colors, orange, black, and white. And I have some left in my cup of orange and white. I have a little bit more of this orange left. And then I also have um, the white and black. So I'm going to be first, I put it, I did clean it off with a little bit of alcohol, just sprayed it and wiped it off. That's all I did for um, to prep it. I've got it inside this cup, so it's a little bit easier. I think I'll probably just hold it when I'm doing it. Um, but what I do have, this cup that has a little bit left, has a little bit of three-in-one silicone in it. So there's not really that much left in here, but I'm just going to start with this just to get rid of it. spots and I will let that dry and then we will come back and look at that that's nasty I'm glad my cup doesn't look like that and then we will come back in a little bit and see how it looks lots of dripping but I'm going to leave that dry for now, and then, then I'll be back. So I am back for the next part of the uh, mug that I'm working on. So I, I took, I did spray two coats of um, uh, varnish on it. And what I used is the Winsor & Newton Professional Gloss Varnish. I put two light coats on. And then um, I bought some some vinyl like stickers off of Amazon and I stuck one here and then I stuck one on the other side and then I went ahead and I made a stencil 
and I stuck this on, stuck it on right there using um, Loctite Fun Tack, Sticky Tack, I always call it. And I tacked that on there like that. And then I used a um, silver Sharpie and I just drew the outline and you can see the outline on there. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and paint the inside of this. And I'm going to use um, Folk Art. It's brushed metal, um, brushed dark gray. And um, I'm gonna paint in that and then there's some other stuff that I'm gonna do to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done and then I will be back. Okay guys, I am back to show you the finished mug. Um, I went ahead and painted this inside with the um, brushed metal um, folk art. It's dark gray. And um, I filled that in and then what I did was I went and traced around it with a white paintbrush. And then I took these stickers that I bought off of Amazon. You can see the H and the D are gone because they're now here. And I stuck them on there. And then I made sure that they were on there, you know, really good. And then I went ahead and used my Winsor & Newton gloss varnish. And I lightly sprayed over this, just this area, um, a couple times. And then... When I, when that was dry, I waited, you know, a whole day to make sure that this, just the spray was dry, just to make sure. And then I went ahead and put two coats over the whole thing. So now it is all done. And it looks pretty good. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And hopefully my husband will like it because it's for his birthday. And it will be a set to match the painting that I've done for him also so hopefully he will like it and um, I do have another video of of that painting so you could see that but anyway it's all done it looks pretty cool and like I said I'm really really happy with it so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel